This is the best method to make any t-shirt fit you amazingly, regardless of the size or the brand. It's a bold statement, I know, but I'm gonna prove it to you. Just watch. I don't like long intros. Let's do this. This is the culprit right here. This side seam is straighter than the smoke lines coming from Snoop Dogg's tour bus. Remember that one time when you <laughs> wanted your t-shirt to look like you were wearing a poncho? Yeah, me neither. Grab your fabric measuring tape because we're gonna make some magic happen. Oh, what's that? Why don't we use the painting method where we put safety pins in the side? Because it sucks. It's inaccurate and you can't replicate your measurements. With this method, you can do this one time and use these same measurements on any shirt you want to moving forward, as long as it's a similar size. Put six sewing pins in the side seam of your shirt, each of which are four inches or 10 centimeters apart, except for the top two and the bottom two. Those are gonna be three inches or 7.5 centimeters apart. Just stick with me, trust me, because this is the part that's gonna change every t-shirt you wear for the rest of your life. Put the sewing pins at various locations from that existing stitch. Depending on the size of your shirt and the size of, well, you, you might have a sewing pin that's two inches or 50 millimeters from that old stitch, or it might only be a quarter of an inch. I don't know how many millimeters that is. Move those sewing pins around to various measurements to see what you feel comfortable with and what you want to hide on your body or accentuate on your body. I think you should subscribe. Next, you're gonna slip into the pin marked shirt to kind of gauge the fit. The pins aren't going to poke you, don't worry. And if they do, it's so worth it. And it doesn't hurt, trust me. And as you kind of assess the fit, you're gonna adjust the pins to different locations, kind of fine tuning things until it complements your specific form flawlessly. By the end of this process, you'll not only have a t-shirt that fits like it was custom made for you, but also the measurements to replicate those results on any shirt in your wardrobe. And that being said, write your measurements down so you can skip this part next time. Now, when you get the pins where you want them to be, instead of having the pins on the same side of your shirt, put them on opposite sides. Now, do, uh, do your pins, do they look like mine with the pointy side facing down towards the devil? Okay, good. Use these settings on your sewing machine and start with the back stitch to lock in your stitch. I'll put these settings down below too. And what's great is you can just use a $40 used sewing machine on this, no problem. You're simply playing connect the dots with these sewing pins. They're making an, uh, an imaginary line, so just follow along that line. Let the sewing machine do the work and your hands just kind of be its guide. Your hands aren't pushing on your garment, they're just guiding. Kind of like a guiding light, I guess. I don't know, is that show even still on? Ease your stitch back out once you get towards the top and end it with the back stitch again, right underneath that armpit seam there. I've got a new stitch that fits the way that I wanted to and isn't dictated by the manufacturer. I've got a bit of a bump here, but it's not a big deal whatsoever. We gotta get rid of all this extra fabric. I'm gonna show you two ways. One is using a pair of regular scissors. Just cut off the extra fabric, leaving about a half of an inch or 12.7 millimeters of fabric left. Now the second way is gonna be those crazy zigzag looking scissors that you've seen. They're called pinking shears and they can cut a zigzag pattern on the edge to prevent it from if you go the scissors route, you're gonna want to cover all this up, otherwise it's gonna fray on you. Set your sewing machine to the zigzag stitch and use that to overlap the edge that you just cut. This is what your zigzag stitch is gonna look like and now this is what all of your t-shirts are gonna look like for the rest of your life. Let's go create some perfect fitting shorts to go with this t-shirt. It's in the next video. I will see you over there. SD out, deuces.